In this next video, we'd like to demonstrate an appendectomy for acute appendicitis. First, we're going to identify McBurney's point, which you can see illustrated here. And then we make a small incision of about five centimeters through the subcutaneous tissue and then opening scarpus fascia. Then we come across the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle, which we open up also. We then proceed with the atraumatic spreading of the muscle fibers. And once we've done that, you'll see the posterior aponeurosis, which is not always present at that point. But that's depending on how far the arcuate line of the rectus sheet extends. So we now keep the muscle fibers aside to give a nice exposure of the peritoneum. What you can see here, and with a small cut, we can open the abdominal cavity. And we will now try to identify the ascending colon, which you can see here. And by following the tinea coli, we will automatically find the appendix. So with the index finger, we've identified the appendix and also could feel that it's inflamed and by gently gently pulling we try to deliver it and there it is and we then position a clamp on the distal part of the meso appendix and can start identifying the appendicular artery which you can see here We try to ligate it uh, at the base so that you only need to have one ligation and can thereby with only one step divide the uh, meso appendix. It's also possible to divide the um, meso appendix from the appendix itself with multiple steps and just following the meso appendix along the appendix itself. But it will take multiple steps. And if it's not too thick, you can um, be done with just one ligation. If you selectively ligate it at the base. So once we're done with the ligation of the artery, we can crush the base of the appendix, place the clamp just distal from the crushed area, and place our ligature around it. And then you can cut the appendix just below the clamp and remove it. Make sure that your ligation is properly secured. And we then reposition the cecum back into the abdominal cavity. It's not necessary to close the peritoneum, but it sometimes helps to keep the abdominal content inside while closing all layers. So 
or post-operative pain reduction, you can decide to inject the wound for, with the local anesthesia. You can use an intercutaneous running suture to close the skin. We hope you enjoyed this educational video and please come back to see more of these videos at mdlinking.com.